Wait, have they gone? Like they eat potatoes for breakfast here. We've had an absolutely amazing time in Las Vegas and today we fly to LAX. Um, and I'm very nervous because I found it quite hard to contact the airline that we're getting an internal flight with. So I don't even know if they know that I'm in a wheelchair. So it's gonna be quite a shock for them. And we're running late, so we need to hurry up. Gosh, I'm trying to check out, but I can't because like we have two rooms and you had to use your driver's license. And Jess, I can't find it anywhere. I've been phoning everyone. I like they're waiting for like the taxi in the taxi area, but like I can't get a hold of them and it's so far away I can't roll there and back. I've checked out my room but I need, I need her to come and find me. Oh, this is so stressful. Right, here she comes, running. We need to check out. We're gonna be, we're gonna miss our flight. We did it, somebody helped us. It, it was just like, it was never gonna work for us. So, let's go Jess. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> we need to get to the airport. Like we've got like literally two hours. Wait, have they gone? Where's all our bags? No, they've just said head to the thingy. Oh, I haven't, I haven't. Oh my gosh, this is so stressful. We need to book a taxi here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, right, we've got a taxi. All of a sudden, Mum and like Luke said that they had gone. So. Luckily, they've got all the bags. We're gonna jump in a taxi and uh, hope, just hope that we we'll get there in time. A few moments later. I panic over. We are here, and we're still got like one hour until our flight. So we, we we're here in time. And oh my gosh, can I just say like the people that work in this airport, so helpful. Oh. A guy oh, came up to mum and he said, "Can like he put her in a wheelchair yeah, and it's strength. He'll help didn't me have get to go there. and ask for anything. Um, His name was Chris. Hi, Chris. You are awesome. Yeah, we, we gave him a tip. Um, and then just a bit of advice: if anyone ever does like fly, like I, I guess it's, I don't know if it's back, but like internal flights in the US, and you're in a wheelchair, they need every single measurement of your chair. <laughs> so <laughs> it took, like I felt really bad because we got there. She's like, so what? What? What's your chair in inches? Like, we don't really do inches, we do centimeters. So I was just like, uh, and then like the weight and everything, they need to know like every single detail. And and then they even check it. Like she checked it for scratches and she wrote down if there were any scratches and like stuff like that. So <laughs> they didn't do that in the UK. So actually I think it's really good. Uh, my bag was of course overweight. Of course. <laughs> so she was like, you're gonna have to take something out, but the other bags are already yeah, gone. Was the last one. So I was like, oh no. So I just opened it and took a bag of clothes out and I'm carrying that on the plane with me. <laughs> and then when we went through security, the lady um, was like, oh, follow me, ma'am. So I followed her into like this like little like other area just left you guys. Oh, I was with her for like 20 she minutes. Pat you down. She had to pat me down, but like it was so much more thorough than the UK. It made yeah. me actually feel good because I was like, oh, we're going to be safe. Yeah. Um, and then she was like, pat me down. She got to the catheter. She's like, what's this, ma'am? <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, it's my catheter. She's like, oh, okay, do you have any other medical devices? And that, like, yeah, she was really good, like she was thorough. And then I forgot that I had some in the back of my chair. Like I had like my happy pens and that, some other stuff. She unzipped the zip and she was like, there's stuff in here, ma'am. I'm going to swab it. <laughs> so, then, so then she swabbed each thing, like drugs. And like, I guess I'm all right because nothing came back. And my gloves as well. She swabbed all my gloves. And I was all I was thinking was like, what happens if I roll through something and it's now on my glove? So hungover. Jenny's wedding was lovely. Yeah, Mum is so not feeling hungover. well. We probably got to sleep at 2 a.m. and then we got up at 5 a.m. and then it was such a rush. Mum hadn't even packed yet. So it was like stressful. Now we're at this place called Chili's and it is a really nice breakfast menu. So we're gonna have some breakfast. We've still got an hour, so we're gonna fill our bellies for a busy day. Jess and Luca having a Starbucks. Yummy. Like they eat potatoes for breakfast here. And their bacon, I swear is very different. It's crispy. After all that panic, our flight is delayed by like 20 minutes at the moment. Show me love, show me love. Make it change, time is up. We can wait for better days, but the days won't come. Show me life, show me love. This is how 
we got Show me life, show me love This is all we got We're on the flight, very very tiny seats compared to the way here, but it's only like yeah. four to five minutes. Unfortunately, they said that my chair can't go on the flight because I don't really know why. <laughs> um, so they're gonna put it in the hold. It's on the flight, but yeah, 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 yeah. underneath. <laughs> well, it's just like I, I just feel better if it was on here. Yeah. Not like rattling about on yeah, the hold. Yeah. Because a lot of them don't even know how to put the brakes, the brakes on. on and off. Because they're weird yeah. brakes. So it scares me that they'll just put it on and then it will like. Rolling around playing. Yeah. yeah, so if you hear a rattle, that's my chair. Ooh. But we're on our way. I'm going to the Rolettes dance convention. If I look absolutely awful, it's because I feel absolutely awful. Um, because we've got hardly any sleep. But actually, I think after that vitamin D thing we did the other day. Yeah, that was good. I, that was I good think, to do that. Yeah, yeah, I think it has like done yeah, something. Good so. To um, otherwise, I would not be able to get up this morning. So I have some energy. A few inches later. So we just got into LAX and oh my gosh, thank goodness we've like headed somewhere like cooler. It's so much nicer here. The weather's lovely and the air is not frying me. Um, I've got like burns all over my thumbs from the wedding yesterday because we were outside for so long and it was so hot that my wheelchair like rims like this part. They got so hot that I've got blisters all over my thumbs and like I burnt, it was like putting my hand on, on top of the oven, like the cooker. Now we're just waiting for the shuttle to come and take us to the hotel. He just came by, but he said the accessible one is like the next one that's coming. Um, in like, well, he said 10 minutes and it's been about 10 minutes now. So any moment now. One eternity later. Hey guys, so I am in the hotel room. I've come up here and I'm so excited because I am surprising my mum with a sweet. Like, she deserves this. She's helped me so much, like, coming away. Like, she's been pushing me around Las Vegas and she can hardly walk herself. And, yeah, I love her so much. So she deserves this sweet. And I can't wait to show you because it's so amazing. Um, she should be coming in any moment now. Hi, mum. I thought it was going to be someone else. I got scared then. Come on. Oh my, it's not, it's a, it's a suite. You got me a suite. You got me a suite. It's a lounge. Oh my goodness. I can drink cocktails in my lounge. <laughs> Massive TV, coffee. Do you like it? Look at the bed. <laughs> <laughs> and look, Mum, you can even do work at the desk! Oh, I don't know if you're doing work! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mum! Amy! They haven't just got a bin! They've got a bin! And a reset! <laughs> 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 what is this? Is this you know? What is <laughs> What is a recycling bin? This is like when you know you've made it because you've got two bins! <laughs> 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 My word, this is a wardrobe. For oh, Mum, and we've got two suitcase holders. Got two suitcase stands. Oh my word, look at that. I've even got slippers. <laughs> Massive bed as well. I, like, I don't think the camera does it justice. Oh, like, we could okay, fit four people in this look bed. Me, then. I am five foot, five and a half. Yeah, it, it will be your height. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's dad's height, width, waist. Isn't it really? <laughs> I'm down six foot four. Like, it's not an accessible room because I'm at the Rolex experience. And obviously, gone. <laughs> pretty much what I think, like everybody that comes to this is in a wheelchair. Maybe like some are ambulatory. But um, that means, obviously, oh, a hotel can't accommodate that many people. So it's, it's done there. by like... I guess you can say need, like, yeah. I, and I said to them, I can cope without, and then I asked if I could then pay to upgrade to a suite. I'm just gonna have to wash my hair in the sink. It will be fun. So come with me 
as we go and see the bathroom. How do I twist this round? Well, you just turn your hand around. So can I? Oh, I can <laughs> see it now. Oh, this is a new camera and it's so cool. Mama's got coffee. So there we are. Hello. Hi. So this is the bathroom. As you can see, it's not an accessible bathroom. But I can know, make, it, we to can make it work. I can make it. To I'm the okay. Toilet. I just can't shut the door. <laughs> yeah, like you can't get into the shower because there's quite a ledge. No, but, but it, it, you, can, you can get. To the I toilet. knew it would be like. No, this. that's another bin. Mom, <laughs> stop being obsessed with bins. <laughs> but this, this is the best part. This, this here, isn't it? Eight we have to dollars. Pay for that water. Eight we dollars. We get this water for free. <laughs> Eight dollars. Good grief. Mum's had a nap and I've just been chilling, put some makeup on, finally look a little bit more human. And now we're gonna go downstairs and check into the Rolex experience. I don't really know what's going on, but I think that there's like some things around and some kind of welcome like talk. I don't know. And then some connection groups, it said. But I should meet some really cool people, so I'm really excited. In that moment, I realized everyone was staring at me. But they weren't staring at me because of my wheelchair. They were staring at me because I was the star and I was hooked. Say goodbye. The sweetness and the sorrow. Wish me luck the same to you. Down. Mm -hmm. 